Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to continue with our shop GUI and we're going to make the next and previous button work. We're also going to change the text color 3 thing of um, the color 3 value for when text is supposed to be disabled for the buttons. So let's go to the starter GUI, shop GUI, button disabled, and I want to change this first thing. I want to change it to 100, 100, 100. Why do I want to do that? Because that just seems like a much better value. It's going to be a lot different than this 200, 200, 200. Um, and we also need to change these to be 100, 100, 100 for their default color 3 value. I guess previous already was. Okay. Um, and we're going to add in a quick script here. All right. Of course, Roblox has issues with this font size thing, and they persist even now. Sixteen. Clo Wait, actually. Tools settings. That's not. That's not big enough. Twenty. Okay. Close. All right. So first thing is going to be script. Dot parent dot next dot mouse button when click we've gone over this uh, more times than I can count really so I'm not gonna go over mouse button one click again just know that means when you left click a GUI button it fires this event and this is the handler I've gone over it too many times to do it in depth again um, and in here we're going to check if and you know what? I want to make these variables, these two buttons. Next. Ooh. There's a keyword next? I am so looking up what that keyword does. And I am so, 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 so going to show you guys that keyword in a very, very soon tutorial. Okay, we're going to call it NXT then. Uh, equals script that parent next and prev equals script that parent that previous that works you know what we're gonna be writing a live duplicate code for the next and previous button so let's minimize that by making a function function handle click um, button actually we'll shorten that to three letters and page movement okay I'll explain this in a minute so the button is going to be passed in and it's either going to be next or previous and then page movement is either going to be a one or a negative one and that's how much the page changes by okay so it's gonna check if button that text color three equals script that parent that parent that button enabled that value then it's going to continue and all it's going to do is script that parent that parent that page that value equals script that parent that parent that page that value plus page movement so if when you add in a negative number like take this page movement we'll comment it so if we add one, then of course that's j if the page was one, it's not going to be two. But if we add negative one, when you add a negative number, you might as well just subtract it because it's exactly the same thing, exactly the same concept. So that would therefore, if we added a negative one, it would just subtract a number from the page so if the pages page was two it'll go down to one hopefully you guys understand that if you don't that's okay um, but just now hopefully it makes sense uh, we're gonna take out this if and we're just gonna do handle click next one and we're gonna copy and paste this we're gonna put in prev prev oops prev and negative one 
And what this will do is it'll fire this function twice, which checks to see if their color three text color three value is equal to the button enabled value, meaning the button is enabled. They click it, it should do something. Um, and what this part does is it just connects to the click um, event, makes a handler for it, and calls this handle click, giving it the parameters it needs. So, whoa, how did my mouse go all the way up there? Now when you press F7 and then Alt F7, reason I'm pressing Alt F7 and stuff is so that we can also buy something just for that extra layer of testing, uh, but it should work perfectly. So there we go, shop, next, previous. Okay, so you guys can't really tell by these buttons that the page is changing, right? No, you, you really can't. Uh, we haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, that'll be that'll be tomorrow, and I know. Last time I said, we'll take care of that tomorrow, and it ended up being over a week later. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm doing this a lot. This, like, not making videos thing. It's not because I don't want to. Trust me, I really want to. Making YouTube videos is super fun. It's super rewarding. And the best part is when I get comments from you guys or I get that like button. But best, better is when I get those comments or I get a message. Or somehow you guys tell me that my videos have helped you out. That's the best time for this YouTube thing. Yeah, the likes are great. They help me get my video is bigger so yes please like the video it helps me out a ton yes sharing the video is amazing it helps me again get bigger it helps me make a larger audience yes that's awesome yes adding it to your favorites is epic because that also helps grow my audience but the best part of everything if you threw away all of my views if you brought me down to one subscriber but that subscriber learned something from my videos it would be worth it. So guys, don't think I'm just like throwing off and like not caring about making videos. My life has just been too crazy the past week and I didn't have time and I'm not going to make a video for you guys that isn't quality information. And for that I need time. So. Yeah. Sorry. Um Hopefully things will slow down soon, and um, I'll make more videos. Anyway, so I just spent like a two-minute rant there. Uh, I do that a lot now, don't I? I'm sorry. Maybe you guys should tell me. Tell me in the comments. Do you guys like it when I go on these rant stream tutorials? No, probably not. I probably wouldn't either, so maybe I'll stop. Unless you guys like it, but I feel like that's what I should make vlogs for. Okay, I'm doing it again. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I promise. I promise. Alright, now thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.